In Sierra Leone, there is no let-up in the fight against Ebola. The country now accounts for more than half of the known cases of the disease. At the country's only locally run treatment centre on the outskirts of Freetown, staff are working around the clock to contain the virus. At the Hastings Centre, junior Dr. Seko Kane had dreamed of being a top surgeon before the outbreak. And this is mine. <laughs> Not mine. This is my bed. Now he's putting all his efforts into fighting Ebola. We don't have the sophisticated equipment. We don't have the, all the things that people think that you need to fight Ebola. But even if we don't have, we improvise. We try to do our best. Staff say they lack training and many of them haven't been paid for weeks. Are you guys with me? Yes. Even if they don't pay them, these guys are ready to risk their life exactly. for their country. A new study blames IMF policies for the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. Cambridge and Oxford academics say that the international lenders' reforms left the health systems underfunded, a charge the organization denies.